day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Thought. Just a thought. Yeah, that's her. I agree with you. The the point is that uh, subtitle wasn't the focus. Is the, the actual commission they said to go do, which is to go preach the gospel. Now, what you're saying is define the gospel, and what does that entail? The complete full gospel? Does it tell the kingdom only? It's talking about to me. I said the full gospel. The part about the kingdom is what we're supposed to live in. And, and, and operate in that system. The other part of that gospel is that your part of salvation, Elder, the, the part about the fact that, that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, the, the other part is showing that he, he came down so we can touch him, we could feel him, we can see who he is, we can see he got tired, he got thirsty. We also saw that he did these signs that followed him. He did heal the sick. He did feed the hungry. He did. So you see, Jeremy, I'm thinking is yes, it's, he, but he operated under the kingdom. And he operated under the fact is that he had a relationship with the Father. And when you said, uh, Brother Addison, they need to see Jesus. Remember that conversation he had with Philip? He said, Philip, you've been with me all this time. And you don't know the Father? Yeah. <laughs> The Father is in me, and I'm in the Father. Mm -hmm. Didn't I like what he got? This is the blessed thing, and blessing was that he wants us to understand <laughs> that, yeah. that he is in, that God is in Jesus in us. I mean, God is in us, we in him. You, we, you see what I'm saying? So you can, they can see Jesus. I, what was that? Everyone say, but as it, we don't want to get a point just like Jesus said, have you seen the Father? You you yeah. been with me. If you want to get me, the point somebody you to see, see you, me. they see Addison, <laughs> brother Addison. They can say, show us Jesus. <laughs> have I been in front of you this long? I've been with you this long. <laughs> and you you don't see Jesus. Jesus is in me. Where's the kingdom? It doesn't come by affirmation, does it? It's within you. So, mm -hmm. so Jimmy, I'm, I'm, I'm totally with you. I'm just saying that when he said the gospel, but Jesus, obviously he was very, I guess when he said, go preach the gospel, that's what the, 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 how would you say his commandment to man, to the, to the Bible, go preach the gospel. And that's it. And preach mm -hmm. the full gospel. When, when, uh, you know, I was saying I was trying to bring this to, you know, kind of condense it into like a simple phrase. Uh -huh. And when I look through the scripture, the scripture talks about that we have been given the gospel reconciliation. Yes, sir. Prior to the fall in the garden, there was a relationship that existed between man and his creator. When the sin came in, then the relationship was breached. It was, it was, it was, it was broken. Yes, sir. When, when Jesus Christ came and the work that he did at the cross actually restored us. To that relationship prior to the fall in the garden even in a better condition right because now we know on the flip side of it good and evil yes sir and we have been restored to our father uh -huh. so the initial relationship that we had with the father in the garden has been given to us again yes, that sir. is the part that is very difficult to embrace uh but that is the reality what jesus christ did at calvary that whole work was to restore us to our creator who is god our father yeah. that happened yeah. that is the good news yes, what sir. flows from that yes sir. manifestation of the kingdom in our lives what flows from that the evidence that we have power over every other system be it you know physical physiological uh material whatever system is, is in existence we are part of a system that super rules over that yeah. And the king of that system is a man named Jesus. And George of his kingdom is a man named Jesus. The evidence of that kingdom existing initially is a man named Jesus. 
prototype of our kind is a man named Jesus. So <laughs> all that the kingdom is is manifested in him. If yes, we be his disciples now, y'all must forgive me if I stretch this. We are now the manifested image of the invisible God in training. You are based on what he wants you to be. You are the light. Jesus said, I'm the light of the world. You become the light of the world. Right? The light of the world. And, and you know what, Elder? I was thinking, uh, other than just the, the, the uh, garden, I was going back that time, to what, what, you, what you were saying brought to me the part about when Israel was saying is, give us a king like the rest of the world. But prior to that, God is saying they didn't reject they didn't reject you, Samuel. They rejected me because mm -hmm. I am their king. The kingdom we're talking You're exactly about right. Is God is the king? Exactly right, Come and on. that's why. And I and I and I agree with you 100. percent And and it's not only in line with what you're saying. In that, I I don't I I guess my position is I don't think and like brother kept saying a system a system this system right the system is the kingdom of God and he is the king that they and he is the king that they were saying they wanted a king he is their king which is a king is over a kingdom yeah. I just think that we can't and so I think we're looking at it as separate uh -huh. but it's one it's not the gospel and then there's the kingdom of God like he said it in the scriptures, it's the gospel of the kingdom. Yep. It's the gospel of the kingdom. Yep. The gospel is the good news about the kingdom. Yep. Yes, sir. And, Amen. And we can't even have a discussion about the kingdom unless we understand, obviously that brings in how you become part of the kingdom, mm -hmm. who is the king of the kingdom, what kind of things operate and happen mm -hmm. once you're in that kingdom, the kind of system that this kingdom entails and the things you can expect to happen within it yes. so i think by by preaching the gospel of the kingdom is which and i'm using biblical words i'm using exactly the way it was said from the bible uh -huh. i think then by coupling that together yeah. then we bring everything in you know this the gospel is the gospel of the kingdom yeah. come on I, 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 you know i think that is i can't important. see it any other way yes, it sir. is important because you know, we always tend to take from or add to because it's just so simple Yeah. that we just can't use it for what it is. Yes. You know, and uh, just dropping of the kingdom, you know, is a is a is a big issue. Uh -huh. You know, because you can just say the gospel, the gospel, the gospel, but. You know the good news the good news of what exactly the good news of the kingdom exactly the kingdom is at hand exactly so so that is an important thing and and i'm with you jimmy i, I really am 100 percent that we have to take god's word for what it is and not for what is presented to be and let me just say one other thing because if we don't preach the gospel of the kingdom then we become like every other denomination, yes. we focus on one aspect and that's what we highlight and that's what we push. And then therefore you become all about tongues or all about Baptists being baptized or all about uh, uh, divine healings or all about, and, and, it, and it shouldn't be about all about any aspect. It's the gospel of the kingdom, which all of those things fall with under or uh, within yes. that realm yes. or that umbrella and i think yes. that's what we have to make sure that we don't begin to cherry pick yeah like then that's why we got so many denominations because yes. somebody wanted to highlight a particular aspect because that's what they really it jumped out <laughs> to them or, yes. or 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 that's what they were operating in that gift or it felt like that was the most needed part during that time of their lifetime that needed to be emphasized yeah. well yeah. you know the, the, the great when you speak in terms of kingdom, you speak in terms of authority, and uh, and and that is the part that we have escaped. Is that yes. we are <laughs> under the authority right. of God. We 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 who call ourselves sons of God and members of that kingdom are one because of our our national our national affiliation. We are first members of the kingdom of God, and then we are American. We are first members of the kingdom of God, and then we're 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 uh, Australian to or or Asian or whatever it is. But first, the unifying factor in our lives 
is the fact that we are under this kingdom who is ruled over by God. Yeah. And yeah. whose only limitation is God himself. Right. Yeah. Whatever he wants to come to pass is going to happen. And, and, I'm and glad it you can't happen through us. It, I'm glad you said that, Elder, because like Jimmy was saying, you have all these denominations that are fixed on specific things in the Bible, which is not necessarily wrong to a certain extent, but is the king telling you to do that? No, that's the, that's the word. Is the, king, yeah. is the king actually telling you, giving you marching orders? And, and do those, are you accomplishing that mar marching order? Or are you just continuing in it instead of going back to the king to see what else he has for you? So we can't get stuck in one aspect. We have to stay centered on what does God want me to do Amen. to establish his kingdom here on earth. So, and, and so without that, we're disconnecting after we've been connected. We've been reconnecting. And, Amen, and disconnecting. Amen. So instead of <laughs> staying connected and staying with the Father yeah. to find out what our marching orders are, we're, we're, we're just disconnecting on our own. Yeah. And remember something. And remember something. He never said that he was going to come once the gospel had been preached in the whole world. He said when this gospel of the kingdom has been preached, yeah. then I'll return. He, he said it was the gospel of the kingdom that had to be preached throughout the whole world. He didn't say just the gospel. He said the gospel of the kingdom. Read the book. Yeah. <laughs> so, and with that, if, if, and, and that's the thing. So, if we're talking about establishing God's kingdom here on earth, then naturally he's going to come here on earth. You know, so, the thing is, that so, kingdom is being manifested to us now when we are going back down. The funny part about it is they asked Jesus, by what authority do you do these things? And he said, I'm not going to tell you until you tell me where John got his authority from. And so we, uh, our prototype showed us the way to approach what method to use to function in the kingdom. He said that he was constantly aware of what the father was doing. Right. He said, Nothing that he did was done aside from or it didn't originate with him. It actually originated with the father. And so when you said that we should be asking that question, man, that is that is that's a foundational issue with with the church. We're functioning as like loose cannons. We're, we're doing our own thing. You know, we go to God for instruction. When Paul said, "Lord, what would you have me to do?" That's probably the greatest prayer. One of the greatest prayers that's ever been prayed. How can we tell God anything to improve His circumstance or to improve our? Home? He's already well. So we should go in asking what he needs us to do more so than telling them what we need. Jesus said, you know what you need for you for you even there for you know what you do. So I, I think I think the point is that the when we're reading the scriptures is to make sure that we're not trying to say we're fixed. And I know you're not saying that, but we're reading the scriptures as they're presented. And we're not saying that that's all encompassing everything. When we say the gospel is the full gospel and then we got to sit there and see how they did it because i want to make sure that's important so what i have is brother addison is this next scripture this is a paul and going to a particular place and preaching the gospel and and maybe i'm making sure when we preach when we talk about the kingdom of the gospel when we talk about the gospel I, to me i always think the whole spectrum you know what I mean? I think about the whole spectrum of the gospel. So let's look at this right here. And you can break that down. This is this is uh, how Paul went and did some preaching to a certain place. It's Acts chapter 17, verse 10 to verse 1. Okay. Go ahead, Brother Adams. And the reason now, when they had passed through Amphipolis, Amphipolis and Apollo, 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 Apollonia, they came to Thessalonica, Thessalonica, good grief, <laughs> where was a synagogue of the Jews. Okay. And Paul, as his manner was, went unto, went in unto them, 
and three Sabbath days reasoned with them out of the scriptures. Okay. Let me say that again. Come on now. And Paul, as his manner was, went in unto them. This was his manner. This was his mode of operation. There you go now. So, okay. And three Sabbath days uh, reasoned with them out of the scriptures. He did, huh? He did. Opening the and alleging uh -huh. that Christ must needs have suffered. So that's, that's risen again from the dead. Uh -huh. And that this Jesus, uh -huh. whom I preach unto you, yes, is Christ. Come on now. The anointed one, right? Yes. He preached an anointing. He preached that he had to suffer. He preached that he had to rise again. Go ahead. Why? Why? Come on Why? Now. Why? Can I ask that question before we move forward? Why okay. did he have to go through all that? He, well, he took, I'm I, asking, I mean, literally, why did Christ no, have to go through reason, all that? For us? The reason why? Because we, we had to get through all that. Are did, you saying, like, why did Christ have to go through yeah, all that? Or why, why did, did I mean, Paul preached this, but he, what, why, why was he pre Why did Christ have to go through all of that? Go ahead. Are you going to answer? Oh, yeah. I was wondering why did Christ have to go through all that? Is that rhetorical or are you going to answer? It's a, it's a it's a question. Yeah, it's a question. Why did he have to go through that? Because of, of what happened in the car. It, it, yeah, you had to pay the price. It was a price that had to be paid. And there was no man, there was no man ever that could that could do that, what God required. God required a perfect sacrifice and right. and, and no one uh, that was ever born, uh -huh. uh, even at the time of Christ, right. and that ever will be, Right. Could satisfy that Christ was the only one that could do that. What did he and let's do? let's let's break it down even further. Christ so loved Adam and Eve. Yes. That which was the world. Right. At that particular time. Yes, sir. That he gave his only son. Yes, sir. To die for them. Yes, sir. So God loved Adam. And, uh -huh. Eve and all that was within them, which yeah. was humanity, that he gave his son. Yes, sir. even before it even happened. Come on, for the foundation of the world. For for for, for the love that he had. Right. That that right. that's the bottom line. Right. The love that he had. God is love. Yes, so sir. for him not to do that is out of character. And, and you know, and I like to find out the fact is that the the. Eve, Adam and Eve, animals had to die because they put those fur clothes on them. And then Cain and Abel was obviously doing those sacrifices because those were shadows of things to come. And you know what? But the end result this, this, of his doing was to do what? Let me let me I, just say this real quick. So the first reconciling was okay. done by God. Yes, sir. That's what I'm, That's what I'm saying. That's rough. Yeah. yeah. And I would like to creator. And I'd like to add one thing to that, because we know that according to the Bible, Adam was the son of God. Yes. And we, we know that. And so in order for Jesus to actually replace that or to reverse that, the Bible says that he declared himself. Uh -huh. to be the son of God, how? By the resurrection from the dead. Yes. Yes. So he himself Ooh. established by his actions That's that he was the son of God. So by them preaching the fact that he died, buried, and was resurrected, he was proving to them that this here is the son of God. Yeah. And the, the first uh -huh. son of God. Right. And he fit the one who maintained yes, sir. the connection between all the rest of The connection between God and man. Yes, sir. So he he was the firstborn yes, who sir. had rights Come on. to the kingdom of God. Right. Then so and, and, and had rights to this world and this world system. Yes, sir. By placing himself before Adam. Uh-huh. So that the the uh the the what is it called when they when they pass down from 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 the father to the eldest the inheritance yeah. the inheritance did not fall with Adam Come on. they fell with Christ Jesus right. who is the first right and last he's the first and the last <clears throat> he's the second Adam so the the Adam did inherit 
the Thank dominion you. of this world, but he gave it away. Yes. Jesus redeemed it. That's why that financial term came in. Jesus redeemed you. That's what I like about it. That's part of the gospel is that he redeemed you. Absolutely. Yeah. Paul was and, and you know what else is, is, is awesome about this? Because rightfully, and, and now I know for a fact that when Satan fell yeah. from the kingdom of God, uh -huh. he was placed in time. Uh -huh. <laughs> he was placed in time. Right. So he fell in time. Uh -huh. And he was locked in this 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 time frame because God moved behind right. that time and fulfilled what was needed to be done. Exactly. Exactly. He, the devil is stuck. He's just stuck in time. Hey, yeah. yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's why God that's a, was there that's right. <laughs> at, the at the beginning. That's an excellent point. That's an excellent point. I never really he, yeah, thought yeah, that before. It, it is. His yeah. prison right now, his prison waiting on sentencing is time. It's time. Absolutely. Absolutely. He come down with great, great wrath for he knows that his time is short. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and I'm just gonna make I'm gonna make a very minor point here, just 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 so that I do. And that is, and I know it's natural to say this. But it's really not true. He really wasn't the second Adam. He was last. Thank you, sir. He was the last Adam. And so we just have to make sure we, we say that right. Because if you say in there second, that means you may be re uh, implying that there could be a third yes. or a fourth. And there are going to be many people that are going to come and say that I am the Christ. And that he's here and he's here. And the Bible talks about that. That's why I say that. Don't say second. Because that kind of lends into those people that have these other theories that you can see even Christians say he was the second Christ. But the Bible doesn't say that. The Bible says he was the last Adam. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That that that's that's a good point, or at least making sure that it's not applied and there was something coming after Christ. Right? Yeah, and which which also seals in our 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 spirit by the Holy Spirit. Right. Because if if Christ can't be touched now, because he's no longer in time, he's seated at the right hand of Father. Maybe if he is the last Adam, then our victory yeah. is sealed. In heavenly in places. Hey look, remember what scripture says, in heavenly places, right? In heavenly yes, sir. Places. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we're already seated in heaven. But, but that's yes. the thing, so Elder, just to make sure the audience knows, so, he came to redeem us. He came to pay the price for us. He came to fulfill the law so that we don't not, now need to work and operate under the law. Because we operate in the law, that is what? That 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 that's sin, right? Wait till sin is death. Yeah. He paid the price. He said, I'm gonna fulfill the law. So cause I y'all can't y'all came from if if I kept down the law, all y'all gonna do is continue to show how sinful you are. So I had to redeem you from the curse of the law. And now we operate under the grounds, what, dis the dispensational grace, you know? So that was a good point though, is that the, the, the gospel, it's, it's a lot of details that need to be brought in as we go through it. But as we read, and you say, this is what Paul was reading, on, uh, I guess every time he went somewhere. So where's what, what you had to do? You left at three, Okay, I'll read three again. Opening and alleging that Christ must needs have suffered and risen again from the dead, and that this Jesus, whom I preached unto you, is Christ. The Lord, yeah. And some of them bless. Uh, no, some of them believe. Some of them believe. Some of them believe. And consorted with Paul and Silas, and of the devout Greeks and great multitude. And of the chief women, not a few. I mean, a whole bunch of them listening. Uh -huh. Yes. But the <laughs> Jews, which wow. believed not, wow. who with envy, wow. took unto them certain lewd fellows of the baser <laughs> sort, uh -huh. and gathered a company, and set all the city on an uproar, uh -huh. and assaulted the house of Jason, 
and sought to bring them out to the people. That, you know, I want I, well, I to keep going, but it's interesting that uh, this envy is same, similar to Cain. Cain was envious of, of, of Abel, and he killed him. These people were envious, and they decided to go crazy, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, maybe that's what's going on in the present time. Well, right? well, well. well. <laughs>